Hey, what's up, guys? Well, let's go back here, and today we are going to be playing some Uther of the Ebon Blade Paladin. I know what you guys are thinking. Bruh, you're so close to legend. You should just push for it, right? Fuck that noise. Um, This deck just looks really silly and really fun. And honestly, you just slam Nas on 4, then you play Uther on 5, and then on turn 6 you win the game. If you just hit, it's pretty easy to just win. Therefore, we just hit, and then we win. And then there's no thing bad that can happen, right? Bro, easy game. Anyways, um, I don't have much else to say, so how about let's queue up uh, the first game, and let's see how it goes, right, guys? Yeah, that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. First matchup, Druid. Druid's actually, I think, gonna be one of the easier ones overall. Um, I don't think I want that. Yeah, I don't want that, I don't want that. I'll keep both of those. This is a draw cards. Astral Serpent's pretty solid. All right, at the end of your turn, if it's been an attack, draw two cards. So it's four mana, draw two. All right, we have to sing along, bot. All right, so those for those who are wondering uh, what the win con here, here is, it's sing along, bot, plus uh, garrison commander. All right, so it's four mana plus two, eight mana, uh worth of or plus four mana worth of hero power this makes it trigger twice so you're gonna summon two dudes this allows you to use it twice so you're gonna summon four dudes guess how many dudes you need to win the game exactly um i'm kind of actually down to just slam this um So I draw Uther next turn. I draw Nas the turn after that. I draw two cards here. So I draw Uther. Puts me up to. Oh, I burn a card. I didn't realize I burnt a card. That's, that's not bad. Well, if he steals my Uther, I cry. I can win through losing any other card. Potentially. Not Uther, not sing along, but. Oh. Oh, that's such a bad burn. Uh, this needs to attack. To throw that away. Oh, it's so tilting. Basically, any other drop was fine to lose. That's fine. That's something at least I can play to draw a card. This is at the end of your turn. Oh, I'm panning. This is looking like just a game that I have to just survive till T10. If I survive till T10, I win the game. So now I'm playing Uther. I have one more board wipe, quote unquote, with my boyo. It's only nine damage. I want to wait one turn before I burn that. Alright, I have the whole combo in hand now. Next turn I wipe the board, then turn after that I play Uther, then the turn after that I win the game. 
All right. <laughs> and my guess is he's going to commit the damage to kill the one, two. So yeah, I take nine here. I'm kind of hoping he actually commits more to the board. If he commits more to the board, I'm in a much better position. Like, actually relevant cards, but I mean, I'll take those. He's actually killing my minions. I am super okay with that. Yeah. I'm not going to play anything else. Because I don't want to risk losing anything else. Um... All right, Uther next turn, combo the turn after. Just can't have any minions on my board. Which is why I just needed to have something with two attack or kill it. Easy game. Try to figure out how he kills me out of nowhere from 30. And I don't think there's an answer, especially with no minions on the battlefield. Uh, that's problematic. Oh, that's also problematic. Oh, I'm just dead, huh? Well, I die. Nothing I can do about it. I bet a Aslor, 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 because he has exactly enough space to fit on his board. And it just kills me. It's not an Aslor. Oh, or he has that. This can give a quality, right? It can. I have a 50-50 to survive here and win the game. Do I hit my 50-50? These are not holy cards, correct? No. Well, I'm going to lose the game when I miss this 50-50. I'm going to complain about it. Yep. Can't cycle this is the problem, so I still lose the game in that case. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It still works. Thank God. All right, well, you don't have another Uther, or you don't have another Reno. My hand is the combo. Do I manage to hit? You have nothing on board. If you can kill me from 26 from hand with nothing on board, you deserve the win. You've played your Theo, I guess that could be Rat. Rat, the only card Rat can pull that loses me the game is Garrison Commander. Anything else I beat. Yeah. Asselor is only 16. Does he also, if he also has floop, I mean, you've had everything this game. He missed lethal. 
If he would have shot his own 2 2 ass lord, he had lethal. Deserved. Actually deserved. If he shot his own 2 2, he had lethal. He misplayed. I won the game. Thank God. Oh, that game was too close, though. Anyways, uh, let's queue up the next one and hopefully have it go better. All right. Well, just as good, but slightly better if possible. All right, guys. Yeah. With that being said, I'll see you guys all there. All right. Another druid. I'm going to keep gold penner. Mullis, keep gold penner. All right. One, two. Hopefully draw Uther. <laughs> One, two, buckle my shoe. May the right. light grant you peace. May the light grant you peace. <laughs> Make it look like I'm just playing a normal aggressive pally deck. I'm gonna probably play this Chrysology. Ideally draw a gold panner off of it so I can use the two mana to play the gold panner um, If not it might set off some alarm bells in his head, but I can even play this that's fine All right, well I have this into Uther That's fine. You know what? If I lose because I slam this super early on, I deserve to lose. I'll be honest. I wish this was the other one. If this was the other one, I had a chance at winning the game here. Am I just dead? Is it scam? Well, let's see if he kills me here. If he kills me here, he kills me here. There's nothing I can do. I always lost to him. <sighs> I'll have to wait till turn 10 to go off anyways. I just went for a turbo go off as I have the Uther in hand. If it takes him an extra turn. I would normally concede in situations like this, but the fact he's able to get all of it off, I mean, it's kind of impressive anyways. I know I'm dead because it didn't I mean All right, well, whatever I hit the combo deck Combo deck is not really a strong suit Normally it takes him drawing a lot more cards, but he had the barns in hand and it was kind of the only way he actually won that game To be fair, he had two more turns to draw barns. He drew no additional cards until he resolved barns and it just He just had it if barns was any lower he had lost the game. It is what it is Let's uh, just queue up the next one and hopefully have it go better All right Well, it's quest mage Best Mage is not the easiest deck to beat, I'll be honest, but I'm gonna have to try my best. I feel like this is actually one of the few matchups that actually necessitate 
Nazdormu to win the game, and you have like an insane draw. So I give him two turns at 10 mana, right? Think, if you're playing a combo deck and you have two turns at 10 mana, there's almost no way you can't pull off your combo. So I either need him to draw very few cards that add spells to his hand or whatever, which looking at it, it won't do. Or I need him to just have a very, very weak hand overall. Like ideally here I draw Nas and then I draw Uther the turn after and then I draw Garrison Commander. Like that's best case scenario, right? All right, well, basically there. I hit Nazdormu next turn. I play Nazdormu, then I play Uther the turn after that. Oh, I can't even play this here. I have to. Oh, I drew the other four drop. Oh, I just lost the game. I legitimately just lost the game off the fact I didn't draw no standard there and I didn't realize I had more four drops in my deck. Play this here. You can count on me. I'm just dead. That doesn't actually matter. Come to five. Me two. It's up to three. He burns a card here either way, unless he burns the coin. That's in his deck. That means he's playing a very heavy creature version of that deck. Oh, I give him two turns at 10. He has two turns at 10 mana to win the game. If not, I have lethal a turn after. See what he does. Oh, well. I see exactly where I went wrong. I queued into Quest Mage, so there is no way I actually win this game. Ever. He completes Quest this turn. For legitimately no cost. Must be nice. Oh, it is what it is. And I love the fact you can tell that quest mage players have started to get bored of their deck, but it's the only deck they have. So they feel obligated to play it. Because all of a sudden they went from just using the same win con to there being like four different win cons now. Because people have just gotten bored of, oh, I'll take infinite turns with Magister, I'll win the game, blah, blah, blah. No one wants to fucking do that. People that play Quest Mage just play Quest Mage because it's the only deck they have. Oh, never mind. He's just one of those people that play Magisters with two elemental evocations. I thought he was at least playing something cool. But he's not. He's playing something lame that's just identical to everything else that's been played. Yeah, I'm done sitting here, I'll be honest. Takes another turn, I can't do shit about it. He copies this, so I lose the game. There's nothing else for me to say. It, it is what it is, fuck. Your secrets don't bother or scare me. I have the answer to all of your secrets. I just can't deal with the fact you have a million turns. Like, come on, play a combo deck that you actually have to kill on one turn where you actually have to plan shit. You don't just take infinite turns, so it doesn't require planning. I'm so tired of losing to take an extra turn. Spells, it's kinda ridiculous.
if anything gets me to quit wild, it's fucking this deck and the aggro priest deck with the new fucking dragon. The character turn spells are toxic as shit, and they're just not fun for any party involved. Anyways, let's just queue up the next one and hopefully have a real game that we can play. That would be nice. Alright guys, I'll see you guys there. All right. Can there truly be no vengeance in justice? Oh. This whole hand is decent. Potentially should have mulled this, but hey. I don't think it matters if I'm dead on turn four to a storm right, so I'm not really concerned i'll be honest Ugh. sorry i'm really tired right now and my brain is like blanking it's shadow walk which means i lose to multiple copies of mutinous i lose to multiple copies of dirty raft Oh no, it's just big, so I just lose. Fine. Hopefully he kills us here. I draw Nas, I play Nas. A chance. This doesn't die here, which is really unfortunate. Well, I just need to control the board until 15 turns from now. Okay, that was at least the best one he could have gotten. It's 10 mana. This game really just does not want me to win. Oh, I should have put that. Whoops. Well, no boxer. Or, sorry, sing along, buddy. Neptune. You address city tax. You know, that's not good enough. My hand is too full. Everyone stumbles somewhere. May the light. This is what eight, sixteen, twenty four, twenty eight. Am I just dead? I'm just dead. I wanted a real game, not. I'm so tired of playing some bullshit. Like, fuck, man. I just want a game where someone's playing a fair and honest deck. I know there's not many of them, but just one game where someone's playing a fair and honest deck. I have someone playing a, a Warlock deck. I don't think there's any real broken Warlock decks besides maybe Quest Warlock, a oh, Questline Warlock, which even then I would consider is less good than the last three decks they played against, so. I just want to play against someone who's playing a real deck that's not kill you on turn four, where you can't actually interact with me. Fun. 
Now, I want to play a something that actually plays a real deck, all right? So, we'll queue up one more and hopefully have that be the case. My prayers were not fucking answered. All right, well, I'm done on turn five here. So, this is going to be fun. Keep it with her. It's necessary to win the game. I'm already ready to concede as soon as I hear see Zamari or whatever the fuck the name of that dragon is. Oh, it's actually just straight up aggro. Oh, is it actually? Did I did I speak too soon? Did I actually hit a fair fucking control deck to play against? Because that would be mighty interesting. I'll be honest. Uh, commit this one here instead of committing the gold panner the sole reason that the deck has very few two drops therefore committing the gold panner now turn three is slightly better it's like turn four is like kind of like a sweet spot to slam it, but I want to slam this dragon the turn that turn so. All right. Oh, the dragon. Double garrison commander. I don't want this thing to die out of tilting. Good up, Red, though. Why does my whole hand just draws cards? Alright. Kept my hand. I don't want that thing to die for the simple reason. I mean, hey, I'll take it. May the light flash heal. Flash heal draws me. Ward in the court. I don't think you have two cards in my hand. No, no, it's only one card. From oh, no, it is two cards. I wish it told me what they, what they got. The fine rat. I go nah, you didn't even draw Nas. Alright. So there's a 33% chance that I draw a win con in my deck. 33%. Which I can raise with the Astral guy. No rat one time. Pull the snake. Hate this game. Well, I'm trying to see if he's actually Reno. I'm assuming he is Reno. I'm just gonna play both of these here. It I draw minions guaranteed. And this way, if he does get to have another rat, it's currently only 33%. Let's pull this. Summons a four four elusive wall. All right. Fifty percent of the time, if he has a rat, I cry.
Are you fucking for real? I am so done losing just fucking decks to play take an extra turn bullshit. It is ridiculous. It's fucking ridiculous. This format, it's as toxic as it's ever been. I don't think there's a single deck ever, ever that has been as toxic as all this new bullshit. I would rather take fucking pre-nerf demon hunter with kale Thos. like that was a more fun meta i would rather take the original big shaman meta where everyone's on big shaman shadow walk shaman or pirate rogue the only three dexies i remember at that time i had calculated it i had played 112 games in four days and it was like 93 percent of them were big shaman or pirate rogue this was like day one to four of this season so like it was fucking ridiculous but fucking christ this new meta where every f other fucking deck you play against is just take an extra turn it's like, this deck is sick this deck is so much fun to play piloting it is great until you just get hit with Take an extra turn. It's like, okay. So... You didn't want to actually try to accomplish your win con. You just wanted to be able to a thousand percent get it. Because you have an additional turn. Like... I don't know. It's just... If there was any one card I could get nerfed, I feel right now, it's all the take an extra turn cards. Every single one of them should be two times harder to get. I know I'm not normally one for killing decks. It's something I fucking hate when it happens. But I also hate taking extra turns in magic. Like when I play magic and someone starts playing like turns, I get just as fucking tilted as I get in Hearthstone. It is absurdly bullshit and it's like to me it pisses me off especially when people start like recurring like time warps and shit time warp is the one that lets you take two turns right i don't know it's just it's just not my style of play and it pisses me the fuck off because it just ruins otherwise great games i find um anyways i might be over exaggerating about the taking extra turns I fully admit that. What I'm not over-exaggerating on, though, is how much fun this deck is to play. I, I do really, really like the Uther, the Evan Blade combo. I've been liking to play them ever since they came out. So, yeah. Anyways, I don't have much else to say. Besides the fact that I hope you guys all enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe as always. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. Peace.